what's your name? Tyra. Tyra, how old are you? I'm 31. 31, okay, and what do you do? I'm an admin assistant for an HVAC company, okay. and I also do personal assistant. Nice, nice. And now what are some deal breakers? They have to like dogs. Dogs? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, and deal breaker, you have to have open communication. If you don't have open communication, you're trustworthy. Then oh my God! God. Okay. Yes. All right, so we did get a pop balloon over here. Yes. So let's go on over here. If we can Hello, have your sir. name and age. My name is Kim. I'm 27. What's up, Tyra? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, yeah, so I popped the balloon because, honestly, like, I was supposed to go to lunch with her, like, last week. But she ain't hit your boy back. So, I mean, oh. I mean, like, on to the next. Like, but she's, she's, she's like a winner. Like, she, she cool. We've been knowing each other. She cool. You know what I mean? But that's why. Yeah. Okay. Bruh. All right, so that's what I'm talking about. Tyra, you. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you hit him back? What's going on? Honestly, it was a busy day, mm. and as you know, I have a job and a business, uh, so the communication wasn't there. And I was gonna say that too. Exactly. You, you said it was communication. The communication deal wasn't there. You ain't even hit your boy back. Yeah, yeah but I didn't feel it's like it's all good. Let's go over here if we can have your name and age. So I'm Day John. I'm 30. Okay, Day John. Why did we end up popping our balloon? She is so gorgeous, but like my man said, the communication part. You start off with the open communication. Mm -hmm. I love that. I need communication in my life. I love the communication. But then you say you didn't hit them back. If I if I'm busy, I'm gonna make time enough to say I can't make it. Or I can't show up. You're or right. I'm gonna give you a good excuse. You know what I'm saying? But a good excuse. Other than that, that's the only reason why. Absolutely. Okay. Now is Day John someone that's your type? No. Okay, why not? Um, he too light. Oh, oh my God, bro. I'm sorry. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Hey, but your style's I appreciate you, though. I yeah, like you're gorgeous, it. too. You I know. thank you. I appreciate you. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's go over here. She just turned into a whole different person. Went from sweet to ratchet real quick. Started twerking with tongue out and all that. I think she did that out of embarrassment, some sort of defense mechanism. The nonchalant, I don't care attitude and demeanor never fails. She got put on the spot, tried to put on a persona that she still had under control, but it crumbled and revealed her true nature and that's exactly who she is. She said open communication and then buddy was like, hold on, you didn't even have open communication with me two weeks ago. Then she slid into the darkness. This is why I look at people crazy when they say cold, but people are good at hiding their true personalities. Look at how fast the real her came out when she heard something she didn't like. They will cuss themselves by themselves. You just be patient and let them talk. That was an instant turn off as soon as she hit that little half twerk. Not because she was twerking, but because it seemed to happen on autopilot, like a program response. She lacks what she's asking for. Like how can you ask for something you can't deliver? Majority of women don't mind contradicting themselves. It's really not a big deal to them. You gotta understand that going in. She could have just said the day got away from her and left it at that. Especially if the conversation was had via text. Some women are really a walking contradiction. You just gotta listen and let them talk. And soon, their true nature will come out. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.